Hey guys, Bryce here this week talking to you about CV splines. First, let's start off with a highly requested feature, CV splines. Now in Fusion 360, you will get two options under spline. Let's select the control point spline. By default, a fifth order degree spline will be selected, but you can manually change to a third order spline if needed. But beware, the three point spline will be selected by default in the sculpt workspace. These new splines are controlled with the vertices created as you sketch out the spline. Let's add a few more control points by right clicking on the spline. If you ever want to remove a control point, simply select it and hit the delete key. One of the most useful tools for understanding splines is the curvature combs. Let's toggle the curvature display on. These new splines can be controlled in multiple ways. First we can add relationships to the control points, construction lines, and spline. We can even add dimensions to control the cage. Well, that is the quick tip for this week. Make sure to check out the description for a link to a blog post written by our own Jake Fowler, who is the master of CV splines.